hello there dear youtube friends in this video we'll be looking at how to create this e-commerce uh, website ui in figma so this is actually a design uh, proposed by one of the dribble designers called uh, mr leishenko and i would really appreciate for his uh, really stunningly uh, good looking this e-commerce website ui and yeah i would like to thank him for sharing this particular ui and making it public for people like us to learn and get inspired from so yeah so big thank for mr leshanko and let's get started and let's get let's get started with exactly like doing this particular ui in figma and that's where we're gonna that's the whole the, the this video is gonna be about so just gonna start going to figma here once you have gone to figma just create a new design file here and once you click that you will be uh, directed to your new uh, this particular work uh, workspace where you need to create your own uh, uh, design so as usual so whenever we, we started the first step we need to the first tool as always been is this particular tool here uh, as you can, sorry not this play slash, slash pause. pause as you can see here this particular frame tool is the one that we always uh, we start with so let's make a huge uh, rectangle as long as it fills the whole space as you can see here this is the exact uh, thing that we just wanted to make and let's just uh, make some uh, lines so that we know where which section should this particular field uh, section should uh, be will be uh, placed and you're going to use this line tool here example just go to this uh, shape tool here click on option just look for this line tool and once you're done with that you're going to make some like you're going to like just going to uh, yeah, designate those spaces for this particular, all the particular uh, uh, two, I mean, sections of this particular uh, web UI. For example, in this uh, section, we're going to place all the filter functions, the search, the nav bar, the logo, and something like that. And this is where we're going to see the products, the product cards, the, the filter, I mean, not the filter, but you can, here you can only search for the product card here. So that's why we're going to make it. And as well as, let's, the first thing we need to make is to actually uh, let's start with a product card itself so let's uh, go here and just uh, pick the sh rectangle shape tool and make a rectangular shape like this something else like okay there you go and what we're gonna do we're just gonna place it right here and i'm gonna I'm just gonna make this color color to be a uh, fill to be white and close this and i'm going to give some stroke the stroke is going to be like going to just give some gray here okay this gray would be fine and as you can see here this is the shape which we just created and let's add uh, one more uh, line which actually separates uh, i mean makes makes the half of this so let's go and pick the line tool again I mean the line tool and just we're gonna make it make another line in between something like this exactly in the center of this uh yeah center of this box here okay perfect and let's just uh, select all of this and let's just place it right here so let's go and add some text here for example i'm gonna add some text called i mean the price i'm gonna start with the price here so let's say uh, let's increase the size of the font so i'm going to give around like 20 uh, 24 yeah that's nice okay so 24 and then let's uh give the price i'm going to say uh uh 400 400 dollars and i'm gonna i'm gonna make this font to be bold so we can go to regular i'm gonna select this bold here okay there you go this is just some simple text and i'm gonna, just gonna shorten this and next will be uh it's gonna make like exact copy of this exact copy and then just gonna paste it right here what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna strike through this thing here
something like this you do yeah it's here just need to strike two so that it looks like a discounted price here so as well as we're gonna reduce the size reduce the opacity and and there you go so we're gonna make this size to be around like 18 and the color to be about a bit grayed out just a bit gray and let's yeah there you go and this price shouldn't be uh 400 it should be around like 600 something like that and there you go we just finished the, the price here and next will be uh let's look for the other stuffs for example the title of this product card let's say in this case i'm gonna i'm gonna just like uh name it like a simple product called uh that would be blue uh, lego lego jeep and let's increase the size a bit lego jeep and just gonna yeah, just gonna name this thing the name of the product so there you go this is just the name of the product and i'm gonna reduce the thickness of this to medium and as well as the size it's kind of big but i think it's this um, it's gonna be 20 20 pixels will do place it right here as well as i want to place going to be another text here which says the price of this just just says price and i'm just going to remove the the strike through here it's not it's no longer strike through okay and it's a size as well to 18 to 14 would do and i'm going to reduce this opacity the color to be a bit, a bit gray and thickness to be uh, around like around like medium okay perfect okay there you go next will be uh, that's i uh, have like a button button here so just gonna uh, look for an ellipse tool here which you can find it here click on ellipse and we're gonna make a circle right here and I'm gonna give the color of the circle to be red. Something like this, a simple red would do. And let's uh, add an icon inside here. So uh, I usually go to flat icon, which is where I usually find all the awesome icons and which are free to use as well. So I just gonna suggest you guys to use flat icon all the time as well. And let's look for something to do with like you you wanted to buy this for example buy or or like like. Yeah, something buy or it can be anything like for example purchase or just yeah you can you can click on any of this uh yeah because they are all already this is exactly what you wanted and let's say I would like to go for this particular uh tool here but this is I like to look for a shopping bag because shopping bag is yeah uh let's look for just, I'm just gonna uh, type literally shopping bag here and I'm just gonna choose the one that really is, looks simple as yeah so you can see all of the seriously looking simple looking yeah especially this here so I'm gonna select this and just copy this and I'm gonna paste it right here so you can see here the size is too big so but I'm gonna, re gonna reduce it oh yeah before that as you can see the rectangle has has been uh, missing so I'm just gonna use the color of this to this color okay that's nice okay let me just copy this again and I'm gonna, I'm gonna paste the shape here copy it up here yeah yeah try not to paste inside the box because the box get replaced okay there you go so what I'm gonna do is here, I'm gonna place it right in the center. Okay, once you place the center, and I would like to have this color to be white because yeah, I find white to be a better color than black here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use click, click on options and I'm gonna go for use as mask. And what I'm gonna do, take a rectangular shape tool here, like this, and select rectangle. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag and drop. I mean just gonna make 
create a rectangle on top of this image and I just, let me just gonna resize the image reduce the size and the color I want to give is white here as you can see you can just change this fill to white and close it and let's go see as you can see here this is this has become a white uh, colored uh, icon next let's and make the whole thing to be a, a group here this whole thing is supposed to be a group and yeah so yeah okay solve and next let's add the add the product here okay so i'm just gonna look for a uh this this particular uh this particular uh toy here inside uh, google just gonna simply just find Just gonna choose this. This looks really uh yep, just perfect for the picture. And I'm gonna just paste it right here. Uh, sorry, not here. Not here. It's it's just gonna paste it right here. And what you're gonna do? Just gonna reduce the size as usual. And make sure it it's being placed exactly within the box here. Mm, okay, perfect. And let me just reduce some unwanted shapes. Uh, like this. Okay. And let me just like make this to be inverted. Just like like, and I can yeah flip this horizontal. I'm just gonna place it right here. Okay, that's nice. So it's just a simple uh, toy here. And next will be uh, I'm gonna have like a exact, almost like this, but this time I'm gonna I'm gonna have a have a, another. Uh, button but then it's for favorites okay just gonna copy this let me just place it right here and this time i would like to make this uh, to be uh, this thing to be uh, yeah should be white the background should be white and and then i'd also like give some stroke here a bit of a gray stroke okay that's nice and next will be the image. I mean, let's make the color of this uh, not not to be white, but in this case I'm gonna give some dark gray like this. And also that I'm gonna change the icon to a hard a hard icon here. Okay, something like that. Let me just uh, pick any uh, art icon. For example, here the first one. The f just gonna select and copy this. And I'm just gonna replace this image with the one that I just copied, just by copying Control, uh, it's Control V on it. So as you can see here, uh, oh sorry, you should be, you should select this and Control V. Okay, there you go. Okay. Okay, perfect. Uh, so let's go to the oh yeah it's kind of huge so let me just reduce this size a bit and i like to have some more darker gray okay perfect okay as you can see here this is the product cut which is actually done and in case you want to add more descriptions like uh like can be either like a promo code what will be the promo code that you're going to use for example it's going to use is copy paste and it's gonna say a uh, code something like that. Okay, and I will give the code. And yeah, I think just there's some random code. Yeah, this one zero five two one just something like that. Okay, there you go. As you can see, this is whole thing has been completely filled. This whole product cut. And next will be uh, time to just just gonna make the a copy of this several times. Just gonna select all of this and I'm gonna reduce the size. I mean, before reducing reducing the size, I'm gonna have a copy. I'm gonna make this a couple of uh, copy duplicate of this a couple of times. For example, one here, here. Okay, 
there you go just gonna reduce the size of all of these three product cards by doing this yeah just make sure they are placed exactly in the center and as you can see here the, the, the size of the text are all have been uh, uh yeah not been consistent so what you can do is just copy all of this and this one shot we're gonna re reduce its size to uh, 20 around there and as well as this 18 to 16 it just beside here okay so it's gonna reduce a bit a bit more smaller okay perfect and next would be this promo code here just we just gonna yeah reduce the size to 12 that would do okay and there you go we just have this and we're just gonna make another few more this uh duplicates of this tree product cards so just gonna make select all of this and just sell a copy and paste and just drag it to the bottom here okay there you go you just okay that's the first part we have just finished which is the product cards and next will be uh, let's go for other sections as well let's uh, add some filters here yeah filters is the one that really important and something really uh, really comes in handy every time when you wanted to buy some stuff right so let's uh, have some sections filled here and let's add the text here i'm just gonna copy and paste it here okay before that let me just uh, make all of this to be uh, in a group so that i don't um, like mess them up since they are all there are a lot of uh, tools here so i'm gonna select all of this and make them in one group so that i can actually uh yeah group them yeah, just gonna group selection as you can see this whole thing is a group by the way and yeah i mean before that i think this line is not a group right yeah this, this line doesn't uh doesn't belong to this group here This line should be here around here okay and I'm just gonna reduce the size the color the brightness the thickness the opacity of the color of this gray and I'm just gonna increase the thickness of this line to two okay perfect and is one more line but this time it's going to be vertical sorry uh horizontal by the way so it's gonna flip i mean not not flip but it's to rotate by the way so you know to rotate just gonna just make it like this and place it right here okay and yeah lengthen this line fully to the edge and let's Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have the sections of uh, the filter, the sorting, and all the rest of the stuff that we use to use, yeah, action buttons that we use to filter all these product cards.